for example, I want to use layer and let's say like I want to use layer to like go like this, but I don't want it to mess with that. So now I'm just going to turn it this way, take select mask with the lasso. That just means I can kind of just make it, put it wherever I want. So I'm going to go like this so I can protect that part. This part turns black. And now I can kind of just get in there. I can use layer and I can just add some, some depth uh, to the mouth. So if I want to make like a tongue or something like that, that would make sense. Also, another cool way to do it. Well, I, it's not that cool, but it's kind of cool. Uh, go to, you can clear the mask and then you can, let me turn up the lights. Let me turn up the lights a little bit because it's awfully dark. Maybe I'll just try to do a, a matte cap. Nope. I shouldn't have already colored it. That's right. Well, you can also do a regular mask and you can try to mask everything that you want. It's a little bit more tricky with something like this because you don't want to get it on the on the nose part. Okay, it looks like we got actually got it. Um, but you can, as long as you're in the mask, you can do unmask. And if you want to just like make sure that you didn't get any parts that you don't want, you can just kind of do that and you can kind of erase it. And then you can go to your mask settings, invert, and then you can take the gizmo and you can move it back. And if you want it to like kind of open up, you can open it up like this way. And that gives you like a lot of depth for the mouth. So now I can like add a tongue and stuff in there. So then you just take your mask and you clear it. And then, yeah, now you have a lot deeper. So when I hit solo again, you see I have the teeth and everything. I can go ahead and add a tongue in the mouth. All right, that's it. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.